Hey writers! My name is Brittany Wang. I'm an author of an upcoming YA fairy fantasy novel and today I'm going to be sharing with you the top three ways I make an income to support my writing as an unpublished author and how you can too. Because of these side hustle ideas that I'm about to share with you, I was able to step down from my day job back in August and become a full-time writer, currently making enough to supplement my husband's income so I can work from home doing the things I love. If you want to hear more about my personal journey of how I became a full-time writer in one year, I will link that video below and in the cards. But by the end of this video, you will have a bunch of ideas about how you can start making money as a writer too. Whether you are currently unpublished like me, or if you've been looking for ways to supplement what you've been making from selling your books. And if you find these ideas inspiring, but you'd like more personal help from me about how to turn your idea into a successful hustle, definitely check out my Patreon page as I love to help my patrons figure out which idea is best for them and give them tips about how to create and market their writerly income venture. Now, if you're excited to hear about these three side hustle ideas, go ahead and hit the like button on this video and let's get into the tips. Firstly, what I'm not going to be talking about is selling novels because chances are you're watching this video because you are working on something that is not ready to publish yet or you're making some money on selling your novels but you're not making the kind of money you hoped. I'm also not going to tell you to go out and find an unrelated day job, part-time or other wise to support your writing. Although this may be the best option to start out with as you're building your side business to eventually replace that income. The writers I want to talk to today are the ones that want to create a side hustle that has to do with their writing, something that works hand in hand with it and builds their author platform, their influence, their readership, all at the same time and results in side income now, but also helps sell their books more in the future. If this describes you, here are the top three ideas that I have successfully done my Myself. My first idea is to create a service or product for other writers or readers. When you go to start this kind of side business, the first things you want to ask yourself are what skills do I have and who would be my clientele? Well, if you're a writer, one of your skills is obviously writing and your target audience or clientele could be other writers. Once you've figured out your clientele, the next questions you want to ask yourself are what does my audience need or want most and how can I use the skills I already have to help fill that need. For me, I pulled my followers, my subscribers, and any other writers I knew and asked them what they struggled with most in their writer life. Then I took inventory of what my skills were and tried to find creative ways in which I could use those skills to help my target audience. So I started out creating some free products for writers like my series Bible templates that you can still get by signing up for my newsletter. But if you have any kind of templates or workbook you think would be helpful to writers, you could just as easily sell that product like many writers have, including my friend Rebecca K. Sampson. You create this product once, especially if it's digital, and then all you have to do is market it to your audience, offering discounts from time to time, sharing testimonials of people that have loved your product, and suddenly you have income coming in. The other option here is creating a service. For example, when I created my author website, I realized very quickly that my skill for creating websites was something that many other authors didn't have. I also couldn't find many others that specialized in making websites specifically for writers. So I also knew I wouldn't have much competition. So after doing a bit more digging into what specific struggles my audience had with creating their author websites, I actually ended up coming up with three different services. Either I could create a website for someone, I could teach them how to create it themselves through an online course, or if they already had a website but they didn't love it or there are things that they wanted to improve about it, I could offer a console call where I could give them tips about how to do just that. These offerings have been the bedrock of my income so far, and since my clients love what I do and can't wait to tell their friends, I barely have to market myself anymore because I constantly have requests coming in. I love the service option too because I get to know other writers, network with them, and help them along on their writing journey. To give you a few more examples, I know that my friend Mandy Lynn has created the course AuthorTube Academy for those that want to grow their AuthorTube channel, and she also designs book covers, while my friend Bethany Atazada has created book trailers for writers as well. I've also seen others offering editing and critique services like Natalia Lee, or author coach services like my friend Jade Young. If you'd like help figuring out 
what you'd like to offer and also creating a page where people can pay you for your services or products. Again, I definitely encourage you to join me on Patreon and I would love to help you out. My second idea is to create an AuthorTube channel. For growing your author platform and influence, creating an author YouTube or AuthorTube channel like I have is a no-brainer. Sharing about my author journey and teaching others what I'm learning in the process here on YouTube has definitely been the number one thing that has launched and grown my author platform immensely. But did you know you could also make money as a YouTuber? It's definitely a long game and takes a ton of time and endurance. Basically, you need at least a thousand subscribers and at least 4,000 hours of watch time in a 12 month period to even be considered for YouTube's partner program. But after you are accepted into the program, YouTube will allow you to put ads either before, after or during your video, which brings in money for YouTube and allows YouTube to pay you. If you make it to this point, not only have you massively grown your author platform and potential readership, but you now have a library of videos and each video you worked really hard to create once, but each one is now continually making you passive income because those videos continue to get found and watched and YouTube is paying you for it. Again, this option won't work for everyone and it's definitely not for the faint of heart. You really have to love doing it for a long time before you can get paid, but if you really enjoy it, it's well worth it. Plus, you get to be supported by your audience without them having to pay you a dime. They watch and enjoy, YouTube pays you. Just as a gauge, I was able to reach a thousand subscribers in about eight months time, and I'm super close to reaching 4,000 hours, so I'm really hoping that I can start monetizing soon. But just so you know, it does work. I do have a different YouTube channel unrelated to writing that I've grown to over 13,000 subscribers, and I've been getting paid by YouTube for that channel for almost a year now, and it's been pretty great. My income from YouTube definitely varies from month to month, but it definitely makes a dent. And for those of you that wanna start making money sooner rather than later, you could also still make money off your author tube videos if you're using YouTube in a strategic way. For instance, if you've created a product or service, you could use your author tube channel in part to be advertising or talking about those products or services, which could result in more people going to purchase whatever you've offered. Doing this has definitely helped me find more website clients for sure. Or you could also check out affiliate programs like Amazon affiliates, or eventually get some of your videos sponsored by writerly related companies. I don't have time to talk about all these options in this video, but if you join us over on Patreon, this is definitely something we could discuss further. In either case, if you have an AuthorTube channel or are just starting one, I definitely suggest checking out my top 10 tips video for how to grow your author tube channel, which I'll link below and in the cards. And if you become a patron, I would love to help give you tips and personal suggestions for your author tube channel. And speaking of Patreon, my third idea, surprise, surprise, is to create a Patreon page. Patreon is an amazing platform where creatives like writers, artists, YouTubers, etc., can make a monthly income from fans of their work that want to support them. And in return for certain levels of support, the creative or writer in this case gives their patrons exclusive bonuses and content. Myself and a bunch of other authors here on YouTube have started their own Patreon pages recently, so if you'd like to see an example and the video I made all about it, you can check out the link that I've put in the description below. But I think my favorite thing about this platform is that you really get to know your fans or patrons at a much more personal level, and as long as they continue to be patrons month after month, you suddenly have a pretty dependable monthly income, which the previous two options I've told you about in this video have a harder time providing. So I'm really curious, which of these options are you going to try or have you tried already? Got any other ideas you think we should know about? I would love to chat about all that in the comments below. And again, if you'd like some personal mentorship from me in any of these areas, I hope to see you in the Patreon group soon. If you wanna take advantage of more of the free content I have here on my channel, I've linked some of my favorite playlists down below. And if you haven't already, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss anything new. Much luck with all of your writerly side hustle adventures and until next week, happy writing.